You know, I, I know, again, I report a lot of the numbers here at Fox, but the numbers we get, for example, when it talks about inflation and we're at multi-decade highs around 8.5%, that doesn't really do it justice because if you look at the price of eggs and margarine and flour and coffee, you're seeing double-digit advances here. Uh, and that's the kind of stuff that Americans see up close and personal when they go to the grocery store, and that's what they're adjusting to. And that's why 56% of Americans today saying this is impacting their lives and not in a good way. Enter Rodney McMullen. He's the CEO of Kroger, uh, and he has to deal with this on a daily basis. Uh, Rodney, very good to have you. Um, first off, on the food front, now the latest is news that turkey prices uh, will be at all-time highs, likely more than $6 a pound. That's well ahead of Thanksgiving. It's still a relatively inexpensive meat compared to others. But if that holds, a lot of people might pass. So where are we on the turkey front? Uh, good morning, and thanks for the invite. If you look at turkeys, it's an item where uh, we've actually bought most of our turkey uh, uh, products early in the year. So we'll be able to minimize the impact on the customer a little bit better than overall if you were just buying it currently. Uh, but the you know, the customer certainly is uh, modifying behavior because of inflation. So I assume they're buying, or it would be wise for them to get their turkeys early because those that come in now are going to be priced a lot higher, right? Uh, yes. And, uh, you know, turkey is one of those things where we always put on promotion uh, every year uh, because it is the center of the plate for the Thanksgiving meal. And we're going to do everything we can to uh, help the customers in any way we can. You know, it's weird, too, because I've already heard people when they when we first reported this, a lot of people were absolutely, you know, overcome. And, and, and so they said, maybe I'll get a smaller turkey. Maybe I'll try chicken. They discovered the chicken's pricier than turkey. Uh, and, and then there are these vegetarians out there, those who skew anything meat-related, who are now talking tofu turkeys. And that group worries me because they must miss the real turkey because the tofu ends up being in the shape of a turkey. But I digress. <laughs> I'm wondering where you see this going or whether people in their accommodations rule out other stuff. I, I've advised them, we'll just dispense with all the vegetables. Others are saying that's not a great idea. What, what, do, you, what do you tell them? Well, we're going to do everything we can to help a customer. And one of the things uh, that we've done overall is uh, we're seeing customers uh, switch to our brand products. And when they switch, they find uh, it's easier on the budget, but it's also incredibly high quality. And when you look at the whole package of offering, uh, it's really all the pieces together. We also have fuel rewards and other things that the customers tell us they appreciate, and it's really trying to help them stretch their budget. And when you look at Thanksgiving, overall, it's still going to be an incredible great value uh, to feed a huge family at a very reasonable price. And, you know, we don't try to influence what somebody eats. We just try to make sure we have what somebody wants. Now, you're the CEO of one of the largest grocery store chains in America, and, and I, I've talked to many of your colleagues who say, to a man or woman, the same thing here. It's tough for customers, but it's tough for you guys, too. I mean, they're, 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 you have very, very narrow profit margins. So do you have to look at uh, staffing issues, other issues, uh, to, to try to hold these cost pressures uh, down, or at least as down as you can? Yeah, we make less than two cents for every dollar of what we sell. So it's incredibly low margins, especially relative to other industries. And you're constantly looking at how to use uh, data, how to use technology, how to use processes uh, to be able to reduce the cost of running the business. And at the same time, making sure the experience uh, stays awesome for the customers and uh, for our associates. So, you know, it's, it's one of the things that makes the industry fun. Uh, you get to feed people and you get to do it in an incredibly affordable way and fresh products as well. And you get to hear them curse sometimes as they go up and down aisles no, through no fault of your own. But I mean, they're getting frustrated, aren't they? Uh, no doubt uh, their frustration uh, out there. But, you know, we're doing everything we can to try to help somebody make their budget stretch a little further. If you look at this past quarter, we had customers download 750 million coupons. Uh, when you look at the savings on those coupons, those electronic coupons, it's about a billion dollars. And that's just uh, in a 12-week period. So when wow. you're looking at all those things together, it's trying to help somebody stretch their budget a little bit more. Well, that helps. Every little bit helps. Uh, Rodney McMullen, the uh, Kroger CEO, thank you for joining us. Have a Thanks, safe Neil. weekend.